Sam here from guitar.com and we're here with Andy Powers from Taylor taking a look at this incredible new V-Class 12 string. So Andy, can you tell us more about this model? Yeah, this is a, a 562 model guitar. It's something that we had first designed and launched a few years ago. But what's interesting in this case is it's the first time we've adapted the V-Class architecture to a 12 string chassis, so to speak. Yeah. So it's on our grand concert body, the smallest of our body shapes with a short scale length and this you know, 12 fret neck length. But what's so interesting to me is the way that the V-Class architecture works with the 12 string design. I mean, we all, we all kind of know how 12 string guitars go and you know, half the time you're tuning it, the other half of the time it's out of tune. And there's some physical reasons for that. I mean, two strings don't really want to occupy the same resonant frequency. They want to repel each other. So it's physically, it's really hard to get it in tune, especially those octave courses. But in this case, the V-Class architecture helps overcome some of that. So what we end up with is a sound that is beautifully articulately in tune to the degree that unless you deliberately detune it, you don't hear the 12 string jangle like that warble sound. That, that chorusing sort of Yeah, effect. that sort of chorusing effect. It's not there in the same way or a familiar way. In this case, the guitar has a very harmonically rich voice. So you could be playing open position chords and if you close your eyes, you're not totally sure what it is you're hearing. Like, uh, I'll demonstrate. So sure, yeah, it's a 12-string sound, but it's, it's a very much, for me, it's a new flavor of instrument. It's a new type of sound because it'll fit within a context of a mix or on a track, in a live setting, or even with other musicians in a way that 12-string guitars typically don't work well. So it just, does it become a much more usable guitar in that aspect then? Yeah, for me, it, it becomes a far more usable guitar because I'm looking for like that shimmery, beautiful harmonically rich, like double tracked guitar sound when I play a 12 string. Yeah. I mean, certainly you can hit it hard, you can strum it and lay into it and use it as an accompaniment instrument like that. But oftentimes when I pick up a 12 string, I want it as a layer, as a flavor, or for its harmonic richness. Now, in this case, there were some unique challenges in adapting, adapting this uh, 12 string idea yeah. to a V-class guitar. One of them being in the bridge. Yeah, I was just going to point that out because it's obviously not a 12 pin bridge, which yeah, is really interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's, I mean, it's not a totally original idea. There, was a, there are a number of coarse or double strung instruments, mandolins, uh, tarot patch ukuleles, some other things that share a common anchoring. So you'd have two strings anchored to one spot. But the real benefit in our case is the string will hit the saddle with the exact same break angle. Typically on a 12 string, where one pin is further back, the two strings can't actually function exactly the same way. Because of the tension difference. Yeah, of course. Precisely. Yeah. You have a difference in tension and downward tension against the saddle. Yeah. Well, that makes the, the pickup response a bit different, and there's some challenges to overcome there. And in this case, it means that this pickup balance is fabulous. The, it's really clean, even, uniform response out of it. The guitar itself balances really well. So it's a really nice, beautiful, articulate voice out of a 12-string. Great. Can we get some playing examples? Sure. Thanks Andy, that's us taking a look at the V-Class 562 from Taylor Guitars.